Hi, my name is Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor for MCAT Self Prep, the creators of the free MCAT prep course. In this video, I want to briefly walk you through how to use the MCAT Self Prep Create Your Own Study Plan Spreadsheet. The Create Your Own Study Plan Spreadsheet is meant for students who have already taken the MCAT, have already been studying for an extended period of time, or who otherwise want to have more control over their daily study, pl study plan. For everyone else, likely the majority of students, simply skip this video and continue doing lesson after lesson of our online and free interactive e-course. Now, let's start with downloading your spreadsheet. To download your spreadsheet, go to mcatselfprep.com, complete your free registration for the e-course, and go to the lesson entitled, The Nine Most Essential MCAT Study Materials. Click on the link to download your spreadsheet. Upload it into Google Drive and click Open in Google Sheets. Now, let's start with the Goal tab. In this tab, simply input your goal MCAT score and your MCAT test date. Simple enough, right? Now, in the Content Review tab, you will input which study materials you are planning on using. You will do this as you read the nine most essential MCAT study materials lesson. Once you have decided on your materials, you should make a rough estimate of how many hours you want to spend on each of these materials. For instance, let's say you only want to spend about five hours on these practice problems. Then, as you study, update how many hours you have spent on that study material. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will notice a running total, allowing you to track how many hours of study you have left. In the General Study Timeline tab, you can create an overview of your study plan by making your own study phases. Be sure to slowly decrease the amount of content review as you slowly increase the amount of practice problems you are doing. In the Specific Study Timeline tab, you can outline your study plan for each week of studying. You should outline your schedule for the upcoming week at the beginning of each week. Then adjust your schedule as needed. And last, but certainly not least, let's talk about my personal favorite, the Practice Problems tab. In this section, you will input your scores from doing AAMC practice problems and practice exams. For instance, let's say you took a practice problem set and got the following scores. The spreadsheet automatically converts your percent correct into a scaled score for each section and for your overall score. Please understand that this is by no means a perfect estimate, but it is helpful in giving you an idea of how close you are getting to your MCAT goal. So there you have it, the Create Your Own Study Plan Spreadsheet. And for those of you who are going this route, be sure to utilize our 99th percentile MCAT tutors. They will help you to have detailed feedback on your study plan, and they will also help you to know exactly what you need to do in order to, re in order to reach your MCAT goals. We look forward to helping you reach your MCAT goal today.